My name is Corey Moore. I chose the topic of John Comenius for a simple reason. I chose it because in our brief existence here on mortal earth, we come across men, individuals that are great. And these men, even though they may not realize at the moment when they're here on earth that they that their choices will greatly impact humanity, do in fact change the basis of our culture and of our societies. Um, John Comenius was one of those individuals. The reforms he brought about and the the theories and philosophies that he installed in people um, were profound and were changing. Uh, his his purpose and his his greatness um, I hope will be explained in the information that I present. Uh, the The whole reason for John's existence was that universal education would be something available to all. He felt that if you could raise a child up with education, help them to understand the world, that that would make the world a better place. John was born at the 28th of March, 1592, and this occurred in the village of Nivnitz in Morovia, which is modern-day Czech Republic. His father was a miller named uh, Martin Kaminsky, and this gentleman was part of an organization called the Moravian Brothers, which was a community of religious individuals and these individuals believed in a simplistic life that would lead to a pure life and this was the goal of them and of their beliefs now John Cominius had that belief as well and it impacted him greatly and he would later become part of this organization and participate in it um, just like his father had now John lived a simple life and he didn't have that much school until about age 16 where he entered um, the study of Latin at Prerov. Now, when he started to study Latin, he didn't like the environment in which he was learning it. He felt that the, the laymen, the menial workers, had a better opportunity of learning Latin in foreign countries versus him and other students in an actual school environment. And he didn't appreciate that. He felt that if you go to school, you should be able to um, achieve and obtain a knowledge for the purpose of that of going to school. Now John was appointed rector of that school of Parav and he made it easier to learn Latin and the grammar involved with it. Um, he then accepted a position at a new school the Moravian Brethren Church as a minister and he took full charge of that school. Now it was during this time that he published Orbis Pictus and that book which is right here um, is a great book. It's an example of pictures giving knowledge and in this book he would present a picture and then he would explain what was taking place in that picture and in the PowerPoint I've given the example of head and a hand where he was explaining the different features and, and functions of the head specifically um, this book was was changing was was a reformation especially for the children they were able to use this the mothers and the societies and communities to help instruct and teach their children not only about God and religious things, but also about basic, you know, everyday um, objects and, and processes and, and things that took place. Now, that wasn't the only revolutionary thing that he published. He also published a, a piece called The Great Didactic. And this was a, a monumental work. Um, it was kind of the capstone of his career. It was a 300-page um, reference material in which basically he described all of his theory about education and what he envisioned as being um, education in, in, his, in his perfect world and what would help um, society best. And what's interesting about what he proposed and how we do things now in modern time it's very similar and I've, I've put that in the information in my written paper and as well parts of it in in the uh, in this presentation but it's very interesting to note that he starts at a very young age and follows it divvied up by ages and goes to the latter years and he, he describes about where it should take place what time in, in your life it should take place and what exactly and who should teach you the material very interesting stuff because it is essentially the foundation of our modern day teaching. Um, he also 
um, went on to to be a fighter for his religious beliefs and convictions and was eventually expelled from where he lived because of some um, problems. But all in all, I have noticed that for me as a future educator, John Comenius has played a, a very important role in what I'm to become. And that is, he has established organization, he's helped make education universally accessible, he's helped make it easier to understand by presenting primers and picture books for kids, and he's also made it um, more readily available, especially to those that necessarily um, aren't of the highest intellect or, or achievers they have an opportunity to at least learn something. So I believe that John um, Caminius was a great man, a man that has influenced um, deeply the educational um, foundations of our modern society, and we will see that in, into the future, and we will see his influence, and hopefully we can build upon that and make education better and make it become something greater just like John Caminius did. Thank you.